welcome back fishing friends to another adventure all right guys i made it up to iowa i'm at one of my favorite trout fishing spots and the water is really low but there's some good good pockets in here so i'm going to cast out and see what we can come up with and then if i need to move spots i can do that but i'm just using my usual setup five foot ugly stick and I'm using this SOS six pound trout line and I've got um, just a little float and a night crawler. So we're going to give it a shot and hopefully catch something. Gosh, guys, it was running right down below me in that hole there. So I've got this on a little bobber. And I'm just going to jig it through. I can see the fish down there. They're chasing the bobber. Probably run a spinner through there. I'm gonna get rid of this bobber. I do it either way. Sometimes I just float it. Sometimes it's just cast, and sometimes it's just jig. Check this side. Nothing there. All right, guys, I got that one to hit just right here. Holy cow, I gotta check this guy out. I already got my hand wet, so let me get him up here. All right, ooh, easy, easy. Check that out, guys. It's a nice rainbow, beautiful fish. There he goes, he's fine. That was probably about oh, 13 inches, 12 inches. Good stuff. All right, let's get back in there. All right, guys, I hit this hole pretty good and I only had that one fish. The other ones are just too skittish. So I'm going to try another, well, I'm going to try one more cast there. I hit that log pretty good, and that big pool right there pretty good. I just got a night crawler and a trout magnet.
So this SOS line has worked fantastic. You can't see it in the water. And it allows for smooth casting. Alright guys, I'm going to move to a different spot just down the road here. I'll have to re-rig that night crawler. And that's pretty much it. It's just fantastic. Look how cool it looks down through here. And then over here you got the other part. There's the bridge over or the road with the bridge over the water. And I fished down in here a couple spots, but I just couldn't get anything to to come up. So I'm going to head further down and come in on that side and check it out and see. The other thing I could always do is get in and just wade through here. And so that's another possibility. All right, guys, we're back at the creek. You can see it flows that way and this way. So I'm going to pitch the crawler in there. See what we can get. Ooh, I see a dead trout in there. Casualty of starvation. Oh, he's checking it out. Well, one shot out from under that growth and checked it out. There's a whole bunch of them right there. Oh man, they're, they're dinky ones, but they're definitely in there. They get kind of spooked. I guess I could get in and, and wade that creek, see if we can get anything. All right, guys, I think these are just a little too skittish. They don't want any part of it. Uh-oh, I'm in the grass over there. Come on. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to switch spots. All right, guys, at the next spot, just pitching the crawler. See if we get anything. <clears throat> Ooh. I had one fire out of there and come take a look at it. So I got them above and be below. Boy, he shot out of there. Let me get untangled here. Okay, guys, I'm in a new spot. Let me make sure I'm recording. Yep. 
There's a couple of trout here. It's just kind of chilling out. Oh, I had one hit it. I, he wouldn't take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he swam under it. He's thinking about it. There's two of them thinking about it. <laughs> All right, they didn't go for it. Well, he popped it, but then he let go. Okay, let me rebate. Just missed him, dang it. That may be it for him. Yeah, <laughs> he seems skittish. All right, guys, try to, gonna try a different spot. Right up there, guys, I spooked a deer. You can barely see it. I'm in a new spot, we're gonna give it a shot. The deer, she's still looking at me. The deer was just laying here by the stream. You can see how cool that looks down there. Dang, I had one chase. And it didn't bite.
as soon as I move, he bails. <laughs> He's checking it out. All right, guys. I'm going to keep fishing this spot. When he didn't, he didn't take it. What on earth? I was just letting it float along. There he is. Oh, his buddy was checking it out that time. <laughs> oh man, this is good stuff. All right, guys. I've had a couple of hits here, but. No commits. It's like they go up and thump it. Ooh! There we go. I got him that time. Ugh. Ooh, boy, he's got some weight to him. Okay, my hand's wet, so I'm good in that department. Holy cow. Check out that guy. Let me make sure I'm recording. Yes. Beautiful fish. He's probably about 12 inches. Oh, there he goes. I had to get him back in. I didn't want to drop him. Not the best release, but that's the best I could do. I didn't want him to fall down here in between these rocks. So as he was slipping, I pitched him. All right, guys. Well, he was a healthy, nice fatty. Good stuff. There's a couple more in here that have hit. Just hadn't been able to get them. All right. You can kind of see the cabbage I'm standing in here. Some little trails in and out of here. I fished those logs. Fished the other set of rapids. Had a couple chases, no commits. And it's just been crazy. I didn't want to throw the MEPS in here because the water's so shallow. I didn't want it to get snagged. But I'm going to try to catch one of these guys right in here. All right, guys. So I had switched to the Euro Tackle Anisoptera, which is a baby, or a, not a baby, but a dragonfly larvae. And it looks pretty good. I've got it on a little green trout magnet. So I used a crawler for a while, and then when I ran out of crawlers, I switched to this. I threw my craw in there and had a couple of peaks, but whew, almost, almost, there we go. So I tried to cast it way beyond them and then bring it in real slow. Ooh, he swiped at it. Now I'm just letting it sit there. All right. I didn't. He didn't come back for it. Boy, they sure are curious. That's not bad for low water to be able to get some decent sized trout out of here. They're both rainbows. Now there are native brook and native uh, brown trout in here but I hadn't seen any of them or if I've the trout that I've seen could be them and I just can't see them well enough to know all right so I'm going to move spots again on the other side of the meadow there there's like a little bridge I'm gonna try that spot. All right, guys. If you wanna help me out, please like and subscribe and share. You know, it's, I do this for fun, but you, you know, 
it's great to have more viewers and more members and kind of share what I'm doing here. It's Northeast Iowa trout fishing. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. I'm blessed to be able to get out here and enjoy some fishing. But um, thank you very much for stopping by. That's the other thing. And uh, glad you made it here. Got to see some pretty cool fishing. All right, guys, headed to the next spot. All right, guys, there's the other bridge. But boy, you can tell the water's just real shallow. There's a little hole in here. So we're gonna give it a, a shot. Yeah, I catch a lot of flack from my buddies because I use a spinning reel <laughs> for trout fishing. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on, get out of there. And they like using, uh, like fly fishing or a, like a Tenkara type rod, but, you know, there's, come on, right there. But I just use, you know, what works for me. It's a dinky one. It's a tiny little trout. All right, we're gonna leave him alone. Somebody asked if I catch and release. Yeah, I pretty much catch and release. Um, now, if I caught a wall hanger that, you know, I was gonna definitely have my tax taxidermy buddy get the meat off and then be able to preserve it so we could get him taxidermy if that's possible I think it is then I definitely keep it and then eat it but if he can't get the meat off and save the rest for the taxidermy job then then I just keep it but the other way is if one was really injured and I threw him back in. He didn't recover and he just stayed right in there and I retrieved him. Then I'd get him for sure. All right, guys, I'm going to keep checking this out. Up, right up there is the bridge. So I'll scope it out and see what we got. All right, guys, here's under the bridge. I casted for quite a bit of time and I just couldn't get anything even to come out and chase. Hmm. So I think that's going to wrap it up for me for this video. And until I see you guys in the next one, tight lines, have fun out there fishing, keep catching your PBs. Bye-bye.